in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Plato with 64-bit G Fortran and 64-bit Intel i4. In a subsequent video, I'll show you how to write ClearWin programs with Plato, also using G Fortran and i4. From the build menu, select Fortran compiler for x64. It's on the accelerator key Alt plus X. That provides a dialog which uh, allows you to choose between the Silverfrost compiler, G Fortran, and I Fort. Clicking on settings gives a dialog and that allows you to configure G Fortran, the uh, path for the compiler and the name of the compiler. In the same way, it allows you to configure the path for I fought. The help file shows you and describes how to download G Fortran and also how to download I fought. There are also details about how to run the compilers, how to build executables using single file mode and project mode. And there's also descriptions for ClearWin Plus in a link, which uh, we will uh, we refer to the details in a subsequent video. Once we've configured the compilers in that way, we can uh, illustrate the process by writing a very short single file program, not using project mode at the moment, but just take a very simple project. And let's select FTN95. First of all, we compile it using FTN95 and then run and we get the expected result. Selecting a different compiler causes the uh, file to be dirty and uh, so it will recompile when we compile and build. We'll be now using GFRAN and when we run it, we get the result for that compiler. And finally, for i4, this time using the Intel compiler, and we run it in that way. So that's uh, the situation for a single file. Let's suppose we briefly have a look at a project. Suppose we create a new project and we'll make it a Fortran application and we'll provide it with a name. I'll call it test one. Uh, I use the default uh, folder for it. We'll add some code for the main file and create the project. That uh, gives a main file, which is a very simple sample code here. And this, uh, when we now, I'll select release mode for now, and a 64-bit build it. It's built with FT95, <clears throat> and we run it, <clears throat> type an integer on request, and that's what we get. <clears throat> When we come to select G Fortran, then that will uh, link, uh, compile, link, and run. Uh, 
Um, that proceeds okay. And then finally for Fortran, I fort, compile, link, and run. Uh, when you choose or select between different compilers, each compiler has its own uh, subfolder in the project so that when you go back to a, another compiler, it will simply run without uh, change because there's been no change to the code. So uh, each of these different builds are independent of each other. And the same is true for the for the different modes, uh, different uh, modes of building. So uh, that illustrates how to uh, use G Fortran and I Fort from Plato. And uh, the next video that I'm going to uh, create will describe how to uh, create. ClearWin Plus programs, uh, uh, in, in particular with um, G Fortran and I Fort, but also in more general terms, how uh, Plato helps you to create sample code uh, for different components of the uh, ClearWin window. Thank you for listening and enjoy.